All right, guys. So it looks as if we now have the flying bugs in Helldivers. Um, I actually talked about this in one of my other videos, but yeah, they're pretty scary. We're going to be going over that in this video, as well as some recent news, uh, updates, and a few leaks. So let's try and get this video to 4,000 likes. If this video reaches 4,000 likes within the first 24 hours, we're going to go away five copies of Helldivers in this video to anyone that leaves a comment on this video and subscribes to the channel. But with that being said, let's jump into it. So yesterday with the release of the major order, which was to activate the Termicide Towers. If you guys are not aware, there are a bunch of barrier planets now that need defending. And you basically have to like defend them, each one of the battery silos, and then basically just evac. Honestly, it's a pretty hard mission if you're playing on like Helldive. So I would recommend playing on like, honestly, difficulty seven, maybe even eight, and just see how you do. So as of recording this video, like two minutes ago, um, Helldivers has just been voted February's new best game by PlayStation uh, Player's Choice. Uh, it says, a win for Liberty, Super Earth, and of course, Democracy, which is pretty huge considering this was one of the biggest games of February. Hopefully the success of Helldivers continues because I'd love to just keep doing videos on this game. I enjoy the game a ton and I hope you guys do as well. But yeah, this is really amazing as well for Arrowhead Studios and a massive congratulations to them. So someone over on the Reddit actually came up with this cool idea that maybe... It would be cool to have this sort of mech uh, warrior style damage gauge for our mech so we can kind of see how damaged we are. Um, there's been instances where, yeah, you kind of just blow up and you're like, oh, I, w I guess I was low on health. Um, obviously, the other instances as well where uh, there is a bug right now where if you turn to the right and shoot your rockets, you just instantly explode and die. So that's not fun. But yeah, just a really cool idea someone came up with on the Reddit. There's also a bunch of server issues this morning, which people were having trouble logging into the game. The devs were aware and they did say they are looking into it. But yeah, I think it was for a solid one or two hours. People literally couldn't log into the game. But yeah, hopefully that's been resolved by now. So some new gameplay of the light machine gun, the chainsaw has been shown off on the Helldivers Leaks Reddit. Now, obviously, this is a sort of light machine gun that you call in. And yeah, it's nothing too crazy. It's just a big LMG. And obviously, it's a stratagem that you can call in. Um, the good thing I do like about um, the recoilless rifle and obviously the disposable rocket launcher now is the fact that they're on such low cooldowns. It makes it worth running them now. And they're just extremely good. I don't know what the cooldown is going to be on this chainsaw. But yeah, it's basically just a light machine gun. You can just shred down enemies. Pretty awesome. As well, some new gameplay has been shown off of the new Thermite Grenade, which is coming. Now, Thermite Grenade, obviously, if you don't know what Thermite is, it basically burns through pretty much anything. And this grenade is basically used for burning through high armor targets. As you can see here, the person in this clip throws a thermite grenade at one of probably the strongest automatons you can fight, and it takes around two grenades to kill it. So it might even be worth running these thermite grenades when they do eventually come out, because it basically just melted through this hulk. Now, on to the flying bug type enemy sightings. These bugs are getting sighted more and more over the past few days. And it's kind of getting scary now. It seems to be they're only appearing on the new Termicide Tower missions. So keep an eye out if you do stray too far away from the compound. Apparently, the name of these enemies is called Shriekers. And obviously, they are the flying Terminids. So yeah, they kind of just swoop in and like attack you. Pretty scary. Safe to say this is every Helldiver's reaction to these flying enemies just randomly appearing in the game. They fly now! But yeah, I think it's pretty cool that the developers are basically just dropping enemies. They're not sort of announcing it because I feel like it makes it way more fun to just see like an enemy you've never seen before just pop up and you're like, wait a minute, that wasn't in the game before. And I think they should definitely keep doing it for the future enemy types. It makes that first initial surprise just way more exciting, I think. One of the developers himself said, I've heard rumors of flying bugs in Helldivers 2. I want to officially refute 
such preposterous claims. Everyone knows that bugs can't fly. And I'm not alone in thinking this. The Ministry of Truth agrees that this is propaganda and from bug sympathizers that want to brainwash good people. Obviously, this is satire and he is just being sarcastic. But this was tweeted at the same time people were spotting the flying bugs. They do seem like a pretty rare spawn. I don't know if they're sort of ramping up the spawns on the flying bugs. But yeah, you should start seeing them in your games. So look to the skies and just be careful. So there was some leaked audio going back to the Illuminate faction. If you guys want to see a full video on the Illuminates and who they are, I've actually got a full video over on my channel you can go check out. But basically, they're a new faction that are coming in uh, Helldivers and they're basically this super advanced alien race. And yeah, there was another MP3 recording that was leaked that says this. Squid Outpost destroyed. And yeah, it basically says Squid Outpost destroyed and Squid referring to obviously the Illuminate. So eventually we will get side missions in the game, which are Illuminate outposts that we just basically destroy. Apparently, they also mentioned in this leak as well that there's a civilian yelling Squid's run. So assuming that would be some type of escort mission in the game, which would be coming with the Terminids. I really don't know how we're meant to defend the civilians against Terminids. Have you seen what the automatons can do to them? I'm about to end this man's whole career. Wait, 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 wait. No! Yeah, so I don't really know how we're going to defend against a super advanced high tech alien race, but we shall see. So this has been asked for a lot in the community is the ability to customize our armor. Um, I don't think they're bringing out customization. They are bringing out different colorways of the like helmets and armor. As you can see, um, there's the scout helmet and it has some different color variations. So we are going to be able to, I guess, sort of customize our character. It will be the same helmet. It's just a sort of different color of the helmet. But it'd still be nice to have some type of like customization menu where you can manually, I guess, tweak the colors yourself. Let me know your thoughts on this. I feel like it's been in a lot of games. I was really surprised it wasn't in Helldivers. Now, I am aware that every time you die in Helldivers, you do come back as a different Helldivers, I guess, in the, the lore or whatever. You're not the same person each time. So I guess that's the reasoning they went for. You're basically a new person every time. But they could at least make it make sense where you would have different armor each time. I Yeah, it's, it's kind of a weird one. I don't know. I also managed to get some gameplay for you guys of the new grenade launcher pistol. This is a sidearm which is coming in a future patch which fires grenades. It's a pistol that fires grenades. Now this can be used to clear bug holes as well as automaton fabricators. So I really don't see the reason why you wouldn't use this gun. It's just basically a free grenade launcher on your back. Now you only get eight shots unfortunately but still. Having eight extra grenades just running around as your sidearm seems extremely powerful. But yeah, just wanted to bring you guys this quick sort of news update video, Reddit recap. I want to do more of these in the future while I'm covering Helldivers. Don't forget as well, we are giving away copies of Helldivers. If you or a friend still haven't got the game yet, we're giving away copies. Just leave a like on this video. Leave a comment. Make sure you come back to every single video. So you have bell notifications on and come and join the discord because we are just randomly giving away copies to people who are chilling out in the discord but with that being said i hope you guys have a fantastic day and i'll see you guys in my next video peace